Welcome again to another What's New in Cabinet Vision 2012 R2. Andrew Reby here to go over some of the new part features in Cabinet Vision. Let's start this off by looking at the new price matrix feature in the part catalog. Now that we have the part catalog open, let's open the price matrix feature. Okay, those of you familiar with this screen can see the new button here. This allows us to increase a price matrix by a specific percentage. Let's click on it to see what happens. This popped up the Change Prices in Matrix dialog. You can see the two options here that allow us to either increase prices or decrease prices. Once we have decided that, we can set the percentage that we want to increase or decrease and click OK. I'm going to fill in 75% to illustrate this to you. And now you can see that the price matrix that I have here has been increased in price across the board by 75% of the original cost. Now that we have that covered, let's move on to a part in a job to see another new feature. The next feature is something simple that can help us to use cabinet vision more easily. We recently introduced the cam editor for cabinet vision. Now what we did with this was allow the program to retain the work plane that you are on after you leave the part editor. To show this off, I need to select another work plane. Let's go ahead and select the left work plane for this. Now that we have another work plane selected, let's just click the return button to go back to the assembly view. Okay, and now let's go back to the part. For that example, I was using the left finished end, so I'm going to go back to the part view for the left finished end. And now you can see that it brought us right back to the left work plane. Thank you for taking the time to view this demonstration. If you would like more information on Cabinet Vision Solid, please feel free to visit the Cabinet Vision website at www.cabinetvision.com.